dude. I am uh, pretty happy about this one. This is something I've been dying to try. It's another uh, Anona fruit, and I love Anona fruits. This is related to the sugar apple, the cherimoya, the atomoya. This is uh, Anona reticulata, I believe. It might be something else, but I'm guessing that's what that's, this is, because it, it kind of like looks like it. Sometimes they're red, um, but I believe it's still the same species. I think they do come in more like a greenish, yellowish color as well. And it is uh, available in this area. I believe they're native to South America, but over time they've made their way out to India, uh, specifically in this region. It's got the nickname uh, Bullock's Heart, or Bull's Heart, because it is heart-shaped. It looks a little bit like the Cherimoya. The scales are, they're like very flat in there. They're just like, you see like very slight little bumps. It's very smooth. I feel like I'm opening up a present. I have like no clue what's going to be inside this fruit. Whoa. Yeah, that's very different. It's like, um, I don't know. It's a different consistency. It's kind of like pasty looking and kind of firm. Oh, well, it's kind of soft and like the center is firm. Weird. And the coloring is um, very creamy looking. It looks almost like, <laughs> like yogurt or something. Yeah. It's got like a slight yellow tinge, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect here. So uh, let's find out together. First, let me give it a whiff. It smells like yogurt. <laughs> so it looks kind of like yogurt. It smells like yogurt. Um, okay, that's interesting. Tastes pretty good. It's very different though. A little grittier than a cherimoya. I'd say like maybe a little bit more like a sugar apple is. It's got quite a lot of seeds in it. Not as many as a sugar apple. If you took uh, like a vanilla pudding and you added banana and maybe a little bit of like mango maybe a little bit of like pineapple. Those kinds of like tropical tastes. Like little hints of it. It also does have a yogurt flavor, uh, quite distinctly yogurt in flavor. Yogurt. I mean, I like yogurt. I just wasn't expecting that. If someone were to take this and like puree it and give it to you, you would think that you were being served yogurt. It's like that strong. It tastes like a cherimoya flavored yogurt. Decide to become vegan, you're like, damn, I really want some yogurt. Uh, this would satisfy that urge. Um, and that's kind of bizarre. It's weird to have fruit that tastes like dairy. That's, that's weird to me. But there's like a whole bunch of fruits that are like that. I've had fruits that taste like buttermilk. I've had fruit that tastes like cheese, I've had fruit that tastes like butter. This was a pleasant surprise, you know. I was kind of expecting this just to be kind of like an inferior cherimoya. That's what, like, it seems to be the, the consensus of what this tastes like. It's not true. If you like these sorts of flavors, like, you would really, really dig this. So I've been uh, separating out these seeds, just kind of like digging them out of the, the fruit with this fork here. Just in that action of digging these out, I basically have liquefied this uh, pulp. This pulp doesn't have a whole lot of uh, integrity. So it became actually more yogurt-like now, not just flavor-wise, but the consistency after just a little bit of stirring with a fork turns into yogurt. Also, I've been eating this and um, I, it occurred to me, like if I were to relate this to one thing that's like out there that you can pick up, it would be this coconut flavored yogurt and it's 
now it's even like it's like a little bowl of coconut flavored yogurt it just it feels just like i'm eating that uh so yeah that's that's kind of cool this could be like a coconut yogurt fruit and i think it would like really improve the marketing on it <laughs> like more people would buy it than um bull's heart you know bull's heart doesn't exactly you know tell you deliciousness but coconut yogurt fruit come on guys that's worth trying. There's going to be a preview at the end of this video, so don't go anywhere. I just want to give a big shout out to all of the mega contributors over on Patreon. Dr. Torgman, Altpod, FoodToLive.com, and the channel Smarter Every Day. Patreon is how this channel happens, so if you want to find out more about how you can contribute and help this channel grow, do click on the link in the description below or the one that's floating around me right now. I also have t-shirts for sale. This is the latest one, the Mandrake Group shirt, which is available on my website, also in the description below. Uh, this is not a huge channel. I'm trying to make it big. Leaving a comment or liking, subscribing, sharing, anything you can do, guys, does help me out quite a lot. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.